Hi and welcome to the first ever Wacky Wednesday. So if you watched the update video I did on my channel a, a week or so ago, two weeks ago, I said that on a Wednesday I was going to start doing tech related products, so this is the first of them. Uh, they're in addition to the RC stuff that I'm still going to be doing, but on a Wednesday it'll be something totally different. So, the first thing I want to review is, are these. So these are I, the TWS i10 Max AirPods. So, the kind of a clone of the Apple one, use the word clone rather than rip-off. So they also do another version of this, they do the i10, which is about £40, which are better than these, I'll tell you that straight away. This is the budget one, so I picked these up for £16.50, but they vary in price between up to about 20 quid. In America they seem to be about $20, $19. So if you want an iPhone 7 or, plus or above, you know, if you want to play music, it does not have a port, it's USB on the bottom, you can buy some kind of adapters that work but you buy the AirPods, AirPods are really expensive so this is a cheaper version so let me show you what you get in the box so in the box you get a uh, micro USB charging cable which I'll show you that for the AirPods themselves and then an instruction manual which is quite basic and it's in Chinese on one side flick it over and you get the English version so but it does tell you how to get going and everything you need to know. But I'm going to go through it because some of the little bits are confusing. So these are the air pods themselves. So they come in this case. Let's take around the case and show you. So these are the air pods. These are slightly bigger than the Apple version, I believe. You can see how you can see that. So at the bottom, they have a microphone on each one and it charges through there as well so these are obviously stereo but the difference between this and the TWS 10 is that you can just use one of these at once so you can just connect one up and have it just to use for your phone because it has a microphone in so you can just use it for calls to make and receive calls and then when it goes flat swap the other one in or you connect them both together which is what you normally do and then you've got stereo pop them in your ears and off you go so the case it comes in is actually a charging case, so in here it's like a little mini power bank. So when you pop these in here, if you look underneath, you can see, I don't know if you can see in the bottom of there, it's got little contacts in the bottom of there, and these are magnetised, so they will drop in and click in. Okay, so they don't come out. On the back of there, you have a little tiny button. So when you press the button in at the back, let's get that so it gets sharp. Press that button in. If you look on the front, you've got two blue LEDs. The blue LED is telling you now charging, and the red LED at the top, there's two of them that tell you what state the charging position is for the pads, pods themselves. So you can see the one that's gone blue is charged, and the one that's red, if you can see that very clearly, has gone out. So that's now fully charged, and the other one's nearly charged. I'm trying to get that more in focus for you. So that's how they charge. You can see it now better. And once this doesn't turn on, of course, you just charge up the case. Don't you have the pods in, just charge the case up for that. How they charge. And then to turn them on, well, let's pair them up first. I'll show you how to pair them up to your iPhone. So we need to turn them both on. So there's a little switch on this side of both. So if you press them both on until they both flash blue and red. So the flashing blue and red there. You can see that so you only need to have one flash to pair so it's only pairing that one so if you go into your settings it's very easy it is to pair i10 max these pair really quickly connected so anytime you need to do this every time afterwards they'll already be connected and eventually they'll tell you they're connected so they're connected now so if I go into I'm going to use shoes so I don't break any copyright because I'm playing my own video. I'm not sure if you can hear them, I'll put them on top of the camera. But that's as simple as that. So both these are paired. If I want now I can turn one off by holding it in. So that's turned that one off. 
and then I can you can skip tracks with this button or this button volume control is controlled by your phone you can see I've skipped track there so that's really how simple they are to use dead easy so let me go through some stuff on these they, they, they go for about two hours when you fully charge them which isn't bad at all for listening for music they're fine the quality is not bad at all they're obviously not the same quality as the i10s because these are half the price and obviously not the same quality as the apple version but more than adequate it's for jogging or whatever you're using them for they're fine i've tried a phone call with them you can people can hear it with the other end so the mics are quite good on them so the runtime, as I said, is two hours. I've never had more than two, but the first time I used them only had about an hour, the second time not an hour. So you have to just give them a bit of charge all the time to get them right. Now the biggest problem with these is you can't really watch, although I'll show you a YouTube video there, these aren't ideal for YouTube. They have about a 0.3 of a second latency lag on. So if you're watching YouTube, and especially I wanted to use these to watch uh, my TV, and the latency is too high. Now on the TV I can adjust the latency which is not a problem so I can adjust them on this but if your TV hasn't got latency adjustment or your phone or whatever you're watching these on these aren't any good for that purpose. Great for music, not good for watching the TV which is what unfortunately I wanted them for. So do I recommend these? Yeah I do. I think they're great for the money if you want to if you want to pay the extra I'd probably go for the tens but if you want some on a budget 16 quid is a bargain much much cheaper than behind the apple version and unfortunately you need to have something with your apple phone so these to me are more than adequate and like i say i'm happy with them there is other types out there and the i10 is probably the better version but as i say it's another 20 pound the difference is that the latency is none, you don't get any latency so you can watch it on YouTube. This has a charge, it has a charge indicator on the front of this box. It's a magnetic lid but overall the biggest thing you're paying for it is a higher quality production of sound. So it probably is worth it. But for something cheap and cheerful, these are great. I can't knock them. So yeah, I recommend these but if you've got the money I'd probably go for the i10. Thanks ever so much for watching my first Wacky Wednesday and I'll see you soon.